Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com, here with random reviews from the Overflow Room. And today we continue our seemingly endless survey of Schubert. So much Schubert. Uh, he's one of those composers that, you know, you get hooked and you just collect it and collect it and collect it. And, and, and so many artists have done such great work. You know, it's like Schumann. You don't want to get rid of it because you know that they're marvelous performances, even if you know you're never gonna have time in the rest of your life to listen to them. But you know, you have a library. You don't need every book in your library all the time, do you? But you have it, just in case. Here's today's clump of Schubert, and uh, let's just get right to it. There's some labels here that no longer exist. It's sort of nostalgic to go through it. Okay, Schubert, oh, this is, this is in the new Life Ove Onsness box that just came out from Warner, but this is the original EMI B-flat piano sonata, the last one, and three liter with uh, Ian Bostridge. These were nice, I, I liked these discs because you had a combination of piano music and, and leader, and that really made for a program that you could enjoy. And I also find that because I'm not a leader guy, I mean, we, I did a whole video called My Leader Problem. Um, I enjoy them in bits. I enjoy them one at a time. I don't go for leader abend things, you know, you have like huge chunks of them. Um, so this was lovely, three songs and a beautiful sonata. <laughs> for me, that was like perfect, absolutely perfect. Then we've got uh, symphonies, oh, the great C major and symphony number no. three with Kubelik and uh, Bavaria Radio on Aldita. These are live. These were these live reissues. And for, oh, well, I, I, Adriano Hulski said, for me, he is the most modern composer of the past. Okay, I don't know who she is and I don't know why that matters. Anyway, it's a lovely, lovely disc. Um, it's very nice to have. So, you know, Kubelik is always fun to listen to and his live stuff is very different from his studio recordings as often as not. So um, it's good to get stuff, especially things he didn't do so much in the studio. Uh, what is this? Oh, Franz Schubert's Die Verschworenen, The Conspirators, Opera in One Act. Wow. And it's on Opus 111. I remember this. On Opus 111. This was exciting when it came out. Opus 111 doesn't exist anymore. They were sucked up by OVD's Valois, Naive, you know, whatever that thing is. And uh, I don't know where the Opus 111 catalog got to, or most of it. But um, this was this was the the brainchild of Yolanta Scura, um, the producer who was uh, a pushy lady. I remember meeting her several times at Medem, but uh, she always had this this secretary who followed her like a lap dog. It was really very strange, you know, taking notes on everything she said. You know, it was, it was weird, weird. But she was uh, you know a force in the classical music universe, especially for period instrument performances of things like the Four Seasons and whatnot. So here we have Soily Isakoski, the great Soily Isakoski of Strauss' Four Last Songs fame from a long time ago. I mean, when was this? This was uh, 1996, okay. Um, and Peter Lika with other, other people singing with Das Neue Orchestra under Christoph Spering, who did some great Haydn oratorios and other things like that. That's, this is like, you know, a rarity. So that one, that one stays in the collection. Then we've got, oh, Helmut Rilling doing the mass in A-flat. Um, he always did beautiful sacred music, and this is a lovely disc. Um, it's with his, his uh, Oregon Bach Festival Orchestra and Choir. So there you go, a little bit of Schubert sacred music. The box, I don't think, is down here of all the sacred music. Well, maybe it is. Maybe we'll find it, who knows. Um, what was this? Oh, we just did those. So let's go there. Then we've got the Complete Symphonies with Colin Davis. This is the Japanese RCA Colin Davis Complete Symphonies thing. Um, it has since been boxed up, I believe, uh, with this with Staatskapelle Dresden. And I got it, of course, because it's Staatskapelle Dresden, which is just phenomenal. Um, the performances themselves are quite lovely. A little tiny bit on the snoozy side, as a lot of his performances were with this ensemble at this period in his career, like his Beethoven cycle. Remember that? It just, it was beautiful. The playing is always beautiful. The sound is luminous, sonically gorgeous, but the performances could just be a little bit more alert. Nevertheless, 
Um, I like them and, you know, I'm not getting rid of it. Then we've got Gunter Vond. Here's one of his boxes. Selected symphonies, live recordings, 1990-1994, Mozart, Schubert, and Schumann. Now, I have this because it has inside, well, what do we have in here? The unfinished and the great C major. Yeah, of course, it's all in Japanese. Wait a minute. I know I have this because it was the, it had the NDR um, Schubert great C major, which is like one of the greatest greats ever. And, uh, and it was Gunter Vaughn's best recording of that. And there it is. Oh yeah. Yay, yay, from 1991. Um, absolutely fabulous. This still has the the uh, foam rubber thing that I should I should get rid of this. It's starting to turn yellow, which means it's going to start like disintegrating and sticking to everything. So I'm glad I got rid of that. Thank you for reminding me. So that is there. I wonder if this has icky foam rubber too. No, this doesn't. It's the Colin Davis thing. Fortunately, I think I probably already threw that away. But it did have a loose disc. Always something, isn't it, friends? Tell me about it. All right, then we've got, oh, yes, Schubert 8, 9, 4, and 5 in Rosamund with Gunter Vond and Fritz Reiner. How's that? The unfinished is with Fritz Reiner. The ninth is the NDR with Gunter Vond. Yay! You know, um, and let's see, what is this? And the 4 and 5 at Rosamund are the Gunter Vond clone radio things. This was French. A French RCA issue, Artiste Repertoire, um, newly remastered, theoretically. I don't know if that actually mattered, uh, and I don't really care. So, Kissin and James Levine, the Carnegie Hall Concert, Schubert Music for Piano, Four Hands. Now, Schubert's Music for Piano, Four Hands. Piano Music for Four Hands, pardon me. Some of these are two pianos, and some of them are, you know, four hands. It doesn't matter. As long as you've got the four hands, it doesn't matter where you where you put them on the instrument. Um, this is a wonderful sonata. You've got the grand sonata, wonderful recital. You've got the grand duo and the March Military number one, the famous one. Da, 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 you know that. And the characteristic March number one and the Allegro in A minor for piano four hands. Lebensstürmer, life's storms, right? And the fantasy in F minor for piano four hands, which is one of those great last fantasies we talked about. There's the violin and piano fantasy and the wanderer fantasy and this fantasy and they're all astonishingly glorious. So that was fun. And then we've got, let's see, Nachtgesang, nocturnal songs with Birgit Remmert, Werner Gura, Philip Mayer's piano forte, the Sharun Ensemble and the RAIS Kammer Corps with Marcus Creed. Oh, this is an interesting collection of nocturnally themed songs on Harmonia Mundi. I got everything Marcus Creed does with the RAIS Capricorn because they were just so marvelous. And Schubert's like part songs and things for small choirs and whatnot are also marvelous and very, very little known. And he wrote tons of them. Then we've got Pariah doing Schubert piano sonatas. Look at that. Murray Pariah, nine, the last three. The last three. Beautiful, beautiful disc. Of lovely performances. What can I tell you? There's so many lovely performances of that music. Then we've got the octet, another octet. Can you ever have enough octets? With the Gaudier Ensemble. How long is this one? This one's only 59 minutes instead of 63 minutes, which is the other one that I had. We talked about in a previous video. That's on Hyperion, the Gaudier Ensemble. The Rudolf Serkin Trout Quintet, famous Rudolf Serkin. Um, this is the one that was from Marlboro that we talked about the Marlboro disc, but it's now on this French Rudolf Serkin, I think it was French, reissue, along with the Schumann Piano Quintet with the Budapest String Quartet, which is not to be not to be sneered at. Uh, Beecham doing Schubert one, two, and unfinished with the Royal Philharmonic on Sony. I keep saying it, Sony, we need a Beecham box. We badly need a Beecham box. You've got this stuff. What are you doing with it? Why sit on it? Do something useful for God's sake. Uh, let's see, Christian Zimmerman, the Schubert Impromptus. Oh, a lovely disc. When he was young and a little bit less affected than he later became. You know, that's why that's worth hanging on to. And Schubert, uh, Fantasia, oh, the F minor fantasy. The Fantasia we talked about with Murray Pariah and Radu Lupu, along with the Mozart Sonata for Two Pianos in D major. I mean, this is a, an iconic recording. Absolutely marvelous recording. 
of music for piano four hands. Uh, and it still sounds glorious. And last but not least, oh yeah, the Schubert Violin Sonatas with Simon Goldberg and Radu Lupu. Another classic disc. These violin sonatas are not well known. They're, they're, go, they go from like tiny, they were called sonatinas, I believe, when they first came out. There's one real violin sonata, three like sonatina things. Um, and then there's the Fantasy in C major and the Arpeggione sonata played with Maurice Gendron on the cello. Uh, yeah. And Jean Francais, piano in the Arpeggione sonata, of all people. It says here, music making at its most enjoyable, provided by two celebrated Schubert interpreters. Well, there's more than that. Performing the composer's five major works for violin and piano, plus another one. A wonderful twofer. Absolutely wonderful twofer, which will remain forever in my collection, even if there's a room for it upstairs. So there you have it, friends. Another big clump of Schubert. We've got, oh, I don't know, I mean, at least seven or eight more of these videos to come. So keep on listening, friends, and thank you so much for joining me.